Dargo is steeped in history that's unknown to most outside of it. But what better place to learn more about it than the Dargo Museum? Now, I run into my old mate Brian last night at the pub and he tells me that he's got a couple of new things at the museum, which I must admit did confuse me because you don't normally find new stuff in museums, you find old stuff. What yeah. do you got? Well, Some I remember are. these. Yep. Where'd you get that from? That was actually from the school, actually. Madigan's Bridge, there's a bit on it. Oh, look at that, hey? I, I wasn't facetious enough to name it after myself. Avonshire, as it was then, decided to call it Madigan's Bridge. You didn't come up with the idea? No. No, because it would be un-Australian to do so, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'd be very... I'll, you must be would, proud of it, mate. I am, yeah. Yeah, good. Not many people are just holding uh, up a bridge named after them. Exactly. Except Sydney. Yep. Sydney's got one. Yep. He's got a harbour bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Battery. The ore would be shot down here under the stampers. Stampers would be going up and down, crushing the ore, and it would cut out the consistency of sand on the other side. Don't you hate it when you go to a museum and you th see things that you remember from your uh, life? And yeah, you realize especially that maybe you're pictures not as young of yourself, as you that's a worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have. You've got a picture of yourself yeah. in a museum, Brian. My goodness yep. gracious, mate.